Yeah. See, it's the same stuff and it's not changing. It's, it's not, not changing. See, it's not changing. So when the teacher is telling you, Ooh. when the teacher is telling you to do something, you need to do it. Period. Now, what I want you to do is to look him in the face. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Shake your dress, I know she a freak. I know that she freaking. I know she a freak. So, but freak. So please do not try to run game on me. I'm not a PlayStation. Please do not try to run game on me. I'm not a PlayStation. This shit's too busy. Get back so I was unlawful. And I got eyes on the back of my head. I got eyes everywhere, so I know where you go. Right. I could drop two. I could drop two. Dead, like, I really need to ask this, yeah, because I need to have, you know. Wait, dead as in six it. feet under? Basically, like, they don't know if I'm dead or not, but they are assuming that I am. Like, like I went missing, your bones? Like, basically. Like, I'm not here no more. I so can't like, haunt you. I mean, I can haunt you, but I can't, like, come back and get you if you start dating. So, you know physically, I can't grab that ass. Nope. You're gone. I'm gone. You can no longer grab this ass, pull this hair, or nothing. Well, if they told me today in the day, I'm assuming by the night. Are you fucking serious? No. By the night? That's how long it would take you to get over me? Yes. What the fuck? Oh, fuck no. Well, I hope you go missing so that I can start dating by the night too. Right? Why would you fucking say that? Oh, fuck no. Like, that's fucked up. That's the rudest thing you could say to somebody. How are you going to date by the night? So, in my hand, I hold an accomplishment. I'm going to tell you a story. Today, I had a fitting. And it was in a very packed lot. I've been there before. I've been there a few times. And every single time, it's very packed. And I park in the exact same place every time. And I do end up blocking in one car. But I check. That car is usually there all day. All day and I'm usually not there for very long. And there's nowhere else to park. So, I park in, in front of that car. Um, not in a terrible way. Like, I'm beside other things. But, anyways. So... Today, and th I've done this a few times where I parked there, right? Today, <laughs> I have a note on my car saying, don't block people's cars in the future. Adam. And at first I was like, you know, feeling kind of bad. Like, you know, when you get reprimanded for something and you're like, oh, but I had the right intentions and all this stuff. But then I realized how pressed somebody has to be to like go and get a piece of paper, write a note and put it on your car. <laughs> and then I realized that I inconvenienced a white man enough to put a note in my car. And that made me kind of happy. Is that bad? It made me kind of happy. Okay. Let me know if that's bad. So I want to talk about the tension between the African community and the Black American community. And I know this because I have African parents, but I was born in America. So I see the BS. But I feel like in America, the media portrays Africa to be like some poor ass continent where people are just living in huts. And it's like, obviously, there's poverty in Africa. But um, baby, there are mansions out there. Okay, we got money out there. Okay. I have like three homes in Africa, big mansions. Like Africa is not all poverty, but like I feel like America makes it seem like it is. And then on top of it, I feel like the white man has instilled into Africans that black Americans are ghetto and ratchet. So there are some Africans who really think that black Americans are just ghetto and ratchet and they're superior to them. And it's a really weird divide because it's like, baby, we all are, you yep bitch we all got the same fucking enemy and y'all just i don't 
nah, nah. But um, yeah, we need to dismantle that because it's looking real messy. Like the amount of times I got called African booty scratcher by black Americans and the amount of times I've heard African people talk bad about black Americans. Like, yeah, get your act together. We all have the same enemy. And y'all need to realize that there's one common denominator here and it is Mr. Uncle Tiny. Okay, okay. Baby, being black is an experience. It's a fucking experience. And if you're from the hood or like you from the South, like you got ties in Louisiana for, or from Louisiana, I should say, you may relate to what the fuck I'm about to talk about. But like, baby, being black is an experience. My grandma was the type of woman who was gonna take care of everybody. Like any and everybody, you feel me? If you was having problems with your family, come on over here. If you didn't have no family, come on over here. If you need some food, come on over here. She got an entire motherfucking pantry dish that's about the size of Costco for you to uh have a play day in. You feel me? Like, and if my grandma couldn't take care of you, she was gonna find a way for you to get taken care of. Like when I say my grandma was tied in in that kind of way, bitch, she was tied in. Like yeah <laughs> i have aunties and cousins that i'm not even sure if they my real aunties and my cousins but if i don't dress you as auntie and cousin bitch i'm liable to get cussed the fuck out and beat the fuck up because what is wrong with you have you lost your mind oh, okay i could be walking around the town and there's gonna be somebody from my mama auntie uncle generation young cam a hey, cam young nate little nate I don't know you, but hey! <laughs> I vividly remember times like being out in my grandma's front yard, like in the pool or like playing with the water hose or something. I just like being out in the front yard, just playing, being the fucking kid. And there's this man who would drive by and be like, get out that water, girl. And like laugh and like drive off. And like, I know he's like my uncle and then friends or some shit like that. You feel me? Because I, I know this voice. I know this saying. I know this cadence. I've heard it like my entire childhood. But I don't know who this man is. But every time I'm he like because i know we know you but i don't know you <laughs> i remember as a kid my grandma used to have like fish fries and chicken fries and shit like that and everybody coming by to get a fucking plate you feel me we selling plates out the fucking house okay holiday time come around tt cooking what tt cooking tt the bitch when i say being black is an experience it's a fucking experience and I just love being black. Like, bitch, I wouldn't want to be nothing else but black. Can I give you a big hug? No, thanks. thanks. You're ugly. You're ugly. You've been ugly, bitch. You've never been cute. Never been my type of team, bitch. Oh my soul. Never been no brown skin, honey bun. No, none of that, bitch. You know you stuck with me, baby. Do you love me, baby? I know you love me, baby. Yeah, I cheated on you. Can you trust me, baby? This food is looking too good. Let me just Baby, what you over there grabbing? What you grabbing? Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I'm just gonna get me a hot dog. That's it. Why are you just getting a hot? You go get you a bratwurst. Bratwurst? Yes. Why are you not grabbing one? Go grab one. Okay. What is that in your cup? Oh, uh, don't worry, it's just juice. This just some juice. Girl, why you? G we got wine coolers in the back. Here, take this. Drink that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. And where you think you going? Oh, I, I was gonna go sit at the the little kids table. Why you sitting over there? Come sit with your auntie. Come over here. I, I can come sit with y'all. Of course, girl. If you don't get up over here. Okay. Let me pull up a chair. I know you lying. Girl, where are you going? Oh, grown folks business. You, know? you need to hear this. Now, Dr. Charles over there with that young girl. He didn't got her pregnant. That's why she here. Cheated on his okay. wife. I bet you didn't even uh, know. Now, did you? I didn't know he was cheating person. Niece, get over here. 
Where you going? Oh, I was gonna go. I was gonna go play volleyball with the kids. Girl, I need a spades partner. You know how to play spades? D do know you know? Play, yeah, I know how to play spades. Okay, get over here, girl. I need a partner, and you better not renege. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can play. Till I win, can't help me. Girl, vote for me. She never bow, but she put on her throat for me. Cause she want to give me neck, so she choke his head. She a skinny thot mush. She not bad man. No gimmicks. Me not deal with the pussy like no picnic. Me. Listen to me, it's not once you go black, you never go back. It's once you go black, you can't go back. You can't go back. So this is why I'm harping on the Snow Bunny crisis being an issue. Because once a white woman publicly dates a black man, she cannot go, she is eradicated from her community uh, in terms of dating. She's done. It's not that a white man will never date, uh, date her. Her... Her dating market becomes extremely slim. She will never get a respectable YT man after publicly dating a black man. So this only promotes the endless cycle of the snow bunny crisis. And if you think I'm lying, I want y'all to answer this question honestly. If you are a black man who has been on a college campus in America, after your first, let's say, month there, you know, you know, you know which ones are getting gutted out by all the black dudes, right? And you know why that is? You know why there's an endless cycle? Because none of the respectable YT dudes will wipe it. Well, they won't. They won't. Only the goofy cuck YTs will. Only the goofy cuck YTs. And I think I like that. Ain't no skinny girl no more. Where my thick girls at? Can you bounce? Can you bounce one time? Can you bounce? Can you bounce? Can you bounce? Can you bounce one time? Can you bounce? Can you bounce? 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 Can you bounce? Bounce? Can you bounce one time? Can you bounce? Bounce? Can you? Sorry, I can't be your man. I'm sorry. She a fucking fan. I get bread. All these fuck. Can anyone relate to this? But I feel like the older I get, the blacker I get. Like, obviously, I was born black AF. I'm a black woman. I have always been a black woman. But I think growing up in white spaces, I spent so many of my formative years trying to fit in and trying to be like my white counterparts, hating certain parts of myself, wanting to change things about myself. But as you get older, you like blossom and you just like sink and lean into your blackness like you want to be in black spaces surrounded by beautiful black people dating black men like you just thrive in your blackness and you stop trying to fit in and you stop trying to assimilate i just think it's such a beautiful evolution to finally just be comfortable being yourself and just being black as fuck like ugh, i just love it for us Every praise is to our God. What? Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. What is to our God? What's in glory? Hallelujah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Y'all gonna quit playing. Black people get to say the N word, but white people can't. I mean, if the roles were reversed, then say it. Yeah, this filter goes hard. So we're again about to blow that whole black people can't be racist thing out of the water. This woman has the internet in a frenzy. Y'all already know why I'm having a bad day? My sister is a cave dweller smasher. In my house? On this land? I just want to let y'all know that I'm about to do everything in my power to fuck this relationship up. So she's talking about her sister who was dating a white guy. She, in the video, called white people cave dwellers. And then as you heard, said so she's gonna do everything in her power to mess the relationship up. Oh, but we're not done. Like, I'm baffled of seeing a white man in my house. I can't believe it. This is supposed to be a house only. I'm so mad right now, but I don't wanna cause a scene and embarrass her. I don't know what to do right now. I can't believe she has this cave dweller in my freaking house. Did she introduce y'all? No, she didn't. OMG, I'm trying to stay calm, but she knows I'm racist. Hello, that man looked like a straight up Trump supporter. Come and unalive him for me, Dre. I promise I'll help you put the body away. Bring all four of your weapons. So again, when people come to me and say that black people can't be racist, I'm like, come on, let's be realistic. This woman was also bragging about how she wouldn't get fired from her job for this. It seems she has gotten fired. And I think it's good that people are not allowing black people to speak reckless like this and just say, okay, it's fine. No, it's not fine. I'm glad we're calling it out. This type of behavior and thought process is gross. Black girls black female in the UK I don't know about any other side of the world I'll talk about the UK because I'm in the UK who made the rules that we should hate ourselves like dislike each other so much who made that rules like I need to know 
I came across a video on TikTok, two young girls, maybe 20s, 21s, having a go at each other, talking about she's this, she's that, they made like four, part one, part five, part six videos. I am not on any side. It's just, I am baffled. Why do we black girls hate each other so much? Like the entire world hates us already. Why do we hate each other? Why? Like, why can't we not come together and just you know build like everyone is against us why are we against each other i've got two daughters i've got two sons and i preach against this all the time do not hate any other human being why can't we come together Oh.